Hi guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. Happy October! It is getting closer to Halloween. Next week I plan on posting a how to make a last minute Halloween costume video. So today I thought I would show you sort of the history of me DIYing uh, last minute sort of Halloween costumes or just costumes in general. And just kind of take a look at how I've grown through the years, I guess. So I do consider myself pretty good at coming up with a last minute Halloween costume from anywhere from like a week to a couple hours. So I thought I'd show you some outfits. My friends and I used to cosplay a lot in high school, so the first few of these are gonna be pretty embarrassing because they were pretty bad. We haven't done it in a long time and I really want to get back into it, so let me know if you'd be interested in me kind of starting to do cosplay again. I've been meaning to do things like um, gender bend Todoroki from My Hero Academia. I really want to do one of Urza's armors from Fairy Tail. Lots of cool stuff, so let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that at all. So this first picture is from 2004. I think, and it was our first time cosplaying together. I had been to Comic Con before, but I'd never dipped my feet into the cosplay world. But we decided that we were gonna go as Kill Bill characters, kinda last minute. I went through my closet, I found a plaid skirt, I found a blazer, I found a spiky dog toy, I attached it to a chain, and I was Gogo -Go from The Crazy 88. I thought I was so clever attaching that spiky dog toy to a chain and just calling myself Gogo, -Go, but that's so cringy. Like in the movie she has this big epic flail and here I am with like a dinky little dog toy. If I were to do it now, I would try to make it a little more realistically sized, but that was the first last minute cosplay I ever really came up with. I think a year or two later for Comic-Con, we decided to go as Guitar Hero. And I woke up just so grumpy and annoyed and just in the worst mood that I was like, I'm not gonna go today. I don't even have a costume. I couldn't find the shirt that I was supposed to find. The character that I was gonna be, I don't even remember her name, she's supposed to be wearing like one of those baseball tees with like the white and then the red sleeves. We couldn't find that. So my friends brought me a red long sleeve shirt to wear underneath a white spaghetti strap shirt. It looked so incorrect. The last super cringy picture I have is us doing No More Heroes. My friend Alex had spent a ton of time doing her costume. She found all the right fabrics, she sewed it, pleated it, blah blah blah, found a wig. So she had this super legit costume and I had waited until the last minute again. So literally morning of, I threw on a camouflage bra, a cargo skirt, and a long silver sock. This character was missing a leg. She had a silver robotic leg. And I just went like that. She posted it on a cosplay forum and everyone was roasting the hell out of me. So I needed to up my game. I think these next two costumes are from the same year. And I actually spent some time on them. This first costume here, I actually created out of bolts of fabric, and I was very, very proud of it. It is a Queen of Hearts costume, modeled after, obviously, the Disney animated version. And I thought that I did a really good job. However, my friend Monica did not make her costume ahead of time. So we used a blue dress that I owned, we found a black ribbon to tie in her hair, and we used an apron that my friend Alex had previously sewn for a Rocky Horror costume. Later on that weekend, we probably did one of my favorite cosplays that we've ever done, which is from Repo, the Genetic Opera. So I was Blind Mag, 
and I did not sew this dress. What I did was I found a dress, a long silver dress, I bought it and then I just modified it to look more like the dress that she wears in the movie. I think the biggest thing that I did was the ruching right under the uh, tatas. And I also made my husband's repo costume, which was so poorly sewn, but we did it. And we rigged up that helmet to glow, and it was uh, very cool. And then on Halloween that year, I wore this little Red Riding Hood costume, which is not a store-bought costume. I actually had this red dress, and my friend had a red cape from being a devil previously, and I had a corset from steampunk cosplay. I think a big thing that I'm going to focus on in my how to make a last minute costume video is repurposing things that you already own and creating something new out of it. In college we decided to do K-On! and I think I actually have an old, old, old video on this channel of me kind of sewing that costume. Really, really simplistically done. I took one sewing class in high school. I don't know how to make patterns. Basically I made a big old circle skirt and like a trapezoid. Is that that shape? For the top. And I added some ruffles to it. And there you go. I think that we did a pretty good job on this. But I was really annoyed at myself for not doing her makeup right. A couple years after that for Halloween, we got invited to my husband's family's Halloween party. It was a couple weeks before Halloween and we didn't have costumes yet. So I had this idea that we were just gonna go as each other. Basically, I gave him a dress that I didn't mind being stretched to hell. He gave me some clothes. I put on some giant platforms because he's 6'4", and since I had just dyed my hair purple, I gave him a purple wig that I had worn previously. That same year, we again didn't have costumes on actual Halloween, and we had to figure out a last minute costume the day of, again. So I looked through my closet, I found this long purple dress, and I was like, you know what, I could just make myself some horns out of cardboard and I could be Maleficent. And then I asked my husband who his favorite Disney villain was. He had a couple different options but we decided to go with Dr. Facilier from The Princess and the Frog. Basically we just went into his closet, we found a shirt, we found a tail coat, we found some red fabric that I had used in a previous costume. We tied that around his waist. We found a top hat that we wrapped some red construction paper around, and then I painted his face to look like a skull. The year after that, for Comic-Con, it had been years since we were able to get a ticket, so we didn't think we were gonna go. But we ended up deciding that we were gonna do the sort of outside area of Comic-Con and that we wanted to dress up for it. We all brainstormed some ideas and decided that we wanted to go as Sailor Moon, but with a twist of it being punk Sailor Moon. So we all found clothes that sort of matched the color scheme of each character. I was Sailor Chibi Moon. Basically, I found this white dress that I had. I dip dyed it pink. I found a vest that I had. I went and bought a little red bow from Target and I just put a bunch of pins on it. I put my hair up into the signature Sailor Chibi Moon buns. I painted the back of my vest to match the costume. We added patches that worked with the costume. My friend Alex embroidered us a bunch of symbols that went with our outfits. I think it was about a week of work but we were able to pull it all together. And then that year for Halloween, I don't know why, I love costuming so much, but I do last minute costumes so often, but I didn't know what to be for Halloween that same year. I found a frilly dress that was in my closet. I found a large piece of iridescent fabric, and I just drew some butterfly wings on it, and I made myself 
some giant butterfly wings, and I went as a fairy. The year after that for Comic-Con, I actually prepared a bit for this. So this one isn't a last minute costume, but it is a DIY costume that I don't think anyone realized I was in costume when I went out, but I went as Tonks, Nymphadora Tonks from Harry Potter, and my husband went as Remus Lupin. His costume was last minute, but mine took a little bit of effort. So what I decided to do was, in the books, Tonks really liked the band The Weird Sisters. And she was also described as sort of a punk alternative kind of character. So I went with that idea, and my hair was already bubblegum pink. She can look like whatever she feels like looking like. I took a still from the movie of The Weird Sisters during the, the Yule Ball scene. I did some editing in Photoshop to make it look more band t-shirt-y. I put the title on there and I had that shirt custom made. Then I dipped it in some bleach and cut it up and I wore it as a shirt. I tied a black and yellow plaid shirt around my waist because she was in Hufflepuff and then I put a couple different tattoos on me like a wolf for Lupin and I think I had a big ol' Phoenix because I think that's where she first showed up, Order of the Phoenix. And my husband, who also was not recognized, put together a last minute costume as well. We found his oldest looking tweed sort of jacket. We dressed him up like a shabby kind of teacher and I drew some scratch marks across his face. And I think this brings us to my last year Halloween costume that I put together in I think two days. I decided that since my husband and I both had fun hair that we should be fun characters. He was gonna be Caesar Flickerman and I was gonna be Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games. So I looked in my closet, I found a giant tutu, I found a pleated skirt and I decided to go and run to Forever 21 and buy myself a fur coat. I made some weird creation out of it. I curled my hair all crazy and I did a makeup look for it, which I think I'm gonna post later on this month. And I think it turned out all right. And my husband went in his closet and he found a velvet blazer and we just went with it. So I think those are all of my last minute costumes. Uh, I think that I've gotten a lot better at it and hopefully it gave you a little bit of inspiration. Next week I'll show you kind of my process on how I put a last minute costume together. Comment down below some ideas for this year's Halloween costume. What are you gonna be? What do you need help with? I'd be happy to help you. And uh, like it, subscribe it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.